Hello again. Now that we've warmed up our bodies and have learned about the actor neutral body posture, it's time to warm up our voices. First, let's just loosen up our jaw and all parts of our mouth. So yawn a few times. Create space there. And now press your tongue into your cheeks. And stick your tongue all the way out. Great. We'll start with a few sirens, going through all of the vowel sounds. A siren helps to open up your range, meaning the total distance from the lowest sound you can make to the highest sound. So follow me. Great. Next, let's find our diaphragms. The diaphragm is a muscle under our lungs that helps to push the air through our lungs and out our mouths. It's the muscle responsible for helping actors project or support their words with volume. We can warm up our diaphragms using the following exercise. Put your hand on your stomach and repeat after me. G, ba. K, pa. Can you feel that? Your diaphragm has to work hard to produce those sounds. Let's try a few more. Repeat after me. Ha 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 he. Ka 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 ki. Ga 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 gi. Ya 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 ye. Ra 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 re. Ba 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 be. Ta 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 ti. Wa 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 we. Za 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 z. Now that we have our face and mouth muscles all warmed up, our range expanded, and our diaphragm working to control our volume, it's time to work on diction. If you remember from our vocabulary lesson, volume is how well an actor is heard by the audience. Diction is how well the actor is understood by the audience. You can be as loud as you want, but if you are not enunciating and hitting your consonants, no one will be able to understand you. So that's where tongue twisters come in. Let's start with some short ones. Red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather, red leather, yellow leather. Unique New York, unique New York. You know you need unique New York. Unique New York, unique New York. You know you need unique New York. Rubber baby buggy bumpers, rubber baby buggy bumpers, rubber baby buggy bumpers, rubber baby buggy bumpers. Now let's learn a longer one. Repeat after me. All I want is a proper cup of coffee. Made in a proper copper coffee pot. I may be off my tot but I want a cup of coffee from a proper coffee pot. Tin coffee pots, iron coffee pots, they're no good for me. If I can't have a proper cup of coffee from a proper copper coffee pot, I'll have a cup of tea. Great. 
practice that one a few times. I think I will have a cup of tea and see you in a bit. Your homework assignment is to teach that tongue twister we learned, or another one that you like, to someone in your family. Think about why we do it. It's not to see how fast you can let the words escape from your mouth. <laughs> it is to practice diction. Faster is not better. Clearer is better. Also, think about the things we learned today about the diaphragm and volume and diction the next time that you watch something on TV or online or in a movie and really watch the actors from the perspective of someone who knows a thing or two about the human voice. That's you now. And take some notes. If you'd like to share your homework with me, get the permission of a parent or guardian, and when you're finished, visit the website listed here. Then click on the Submit Homework button. Well, that's it for part one of Acting Out Prep School. You've already learned so much. You know what acting is. You've learned a ton of theater vocabulary terms. You know about different kinds of stages and stage directions. You've thought about how characters use movement to express themselves. And you know how to care for your body and your voice, two very important instruments for every actor. So hold on to that great new knowledge and bring it back next week when we dive into part two, character development. See you next time.